Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Code with Afiz. My name is Afizola Masudi and in this video I'm going to show you how you can install a fresh Laravel 9 project and besides that I will also show you how you can install Booster 5 successfully in uh, your Laravel 9 project. So let's start guys. So head to the laravel.com site and go to the documentation. As you guys can see, Laravel 9.x is already selected. So let's go to an installation via Composer because we will install Laravel 9 project using Composer. So to do it, let's open a terminal. And because I am using Linux, so I will go to my uh, LAMP directory. And if you are using Windows, you can go to your XAMPP or WAMP folder in your C directory or your C drive so let's say cd slash opt slash lamp slash htdocs and in here to install a, a new fresh laravel 9 project let's say composer create dash project and laravel slash laravel and then let's choose a name for our project well let's say laravel and press enter So guys, it has been installed successfully and to check, let's say ls-l and you can see now we have this Laravel folder here and it is blue because we don't have any access to uh, write or execute any files inside this folder. So let's give it some access. For that, let's say sudo chmod777-r and then the directory name. It will prompt me for my administrator password. Now to check ls-l. You can see now its color has been changed to green. Which is good to go. Now let's go to uh, our Laravel directory. So for that cd Laravel. And let's open it in Visual Studio Code. So for that let's say code dot. Now to install Bootstrap, let's open the terminal here and inside terminal, well, let's say clear first to clear it. Well, to install Bootstrap, we can use package managers and to use package managers, you have to install Node.js into your system. Well, I already have installed it in uh, my system, so I also have installed Yarn so you can check that out how you can install those packages or applications in the internet so let's say yarn add bootstrap and press enter now the next thing that we have to install is jquery so let's say yarn add jquery and press enter After installing jQuery, we have to install popper.js. So let's say yarn add add popper.js slash core. Press enter. So guys, after installing these dependencies, to check if they are installed successfully, you can go to package.json. And in here you can see, now these three are listed as dependencies. So let's close it and go to this webpack.mix.js and because we want to use bootstrap as sas file so we have to change this post css to sas and the folder name to sas and the extension also s.scss app.scss and save this file close it and now let's go to resources right click on the css folder rename it to sas and inside this folder let's also rename this file extension to scss now let's open this app.scss because we want to import the bootstrap styles file so at import and quotation first we have to go to our node modules folder then bootstrap slash 
scss slash bootstrap save it and close it now let's go to js folder bootstrap.js and in here we have to do a couple of things first of all let's declare a try and catch so in here let's say catch e curly braces and inside this try let's load first of all popper js so window dot popper should equal to require add popper js slash co after popper js let's load jquery so window dot dollar sign should equal to window dot jquery and it should equal to require jquery after jquery let's require bootstrap so require parenthesis bootstrap and i think that's all so let's close it and let's open the terminal again and run yarn run dev well for first time it will throw some errors because now it is installing these addition additional dependencies but to get rid of this error you can run it simply again so let's say we on run diff now you can see guys we don't have any errors and everything is compiled successfully now to check if bootstrap is working just fine we have to go to this views folder and welcome plate and first of all let's load our link and script tag so in here let's put an enter and let's say link and let's say double curly braces and we want to go to the asset folder which is public directory and then css slash app dot css and let's load the script tag at the bottom of our page and here let's say script and let's declare a source for it double curly braces again we want to go to the public directory and js folder app dot js now let's also create a button so in here let's say button and let's say hello world and let's declare a class for it btn dash success save it now let's open our project in the browser so let's open a new tab and let's go to localhost slash laravel slash public well I think my XAMPP is not running so let's go to the terminal and in here let's say cd dot dot slash dot dot to go back to two folders and if I ls dash l here I have to run this manager linux file so let's say sudo dot slash manager dash linux dash x64 dot run and in here let's go to manage servers start all so my apache server is now running now let's minimize it and refresh again you can see now we have our welcome page and if i scroll down you can see our bootstrap is also working just fine so guys this was how to install a fresh laravel 9 project and also install bootstrap 5 in laravel 9 so i hope you enjoyed watching the video and if you enjoyed watching the video don't forget to give the thumbs up and also share it with your friends and if you are new to this channel please subscribe to my channel for support so thanks for watching guys see you guys in the next video